my title, Baker Without Hate. Oh, <laughs> maybe he's like he's so good that no one, <laughs> no one hates his food. Or maybe it's the other way around. Well, he he doesn't hate. Oh right, yeah, Baker, so Baker like... Without Hate. So then maybe um, everyone hates his food, but then he tries to like keep calm and not, you know, get angry about it. <laughs> <laughs> he continues to open the shop and serve shit food. But... <laughs> <laughs> he's, always, he's always getting the worst reviews and stuff. <laughs> but he's got to stay strong in it. He's got to keep baking. <laughs> the health and safety comes to his house and everything. Like, hey, you're... <laughs> you can't continue to work. <laughs> like, nah, 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 come on, guys, I can do this. <laughs> and then he has a visit from like a celebrity chef or something like Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> These cakes are so hard, it's like rocks or something like that. <laughs> it's still flour. There has to be like a breaking point in the story. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, it needs to lead up to something. He doesn't hate, but then eventually he will start hating. Oh, is, and is that when is that when they start liking his food? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just hate. Or maybe it works for a bit, but then in, in like long term, he has to go back to stop hating again. But with an extra twist that helps him proceed where he didn't proceed before. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> no. <laughs>